Hi, now let's move on to the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool is under the quick selection tool. So let's move forward and understand this tool. Again, the hotkey is W. So basically, like I've already told, to move around with the similar tools, we need to press in Shift and W. So when you press Shift and W in the keyboard, you move to the magnetic wand tool, which comes under the quick selection tool. The magic wand tools select pixels based on the tone and color, like the quick selection tool. The difference is this can happen with just one click. So with your magic wand selected, when you click on that image, the similar colored picture, the similar colored area will get selected. So it selects pixels that share the same color and brightness like I just said, and it's helpful in creating large areas of solid colors by just one click. So tolerance is really present in the optional area. It increases the number of pixels that are number of shades lighter or darker. So by changing the tolerance, you can change the area of selection. So let's move to Photoshop and do a live recording on how it's done. In this story, we will talk about the magic wand tool that is just under this area, under the quick selection tool. So you find the magic tool here under the quick selection tool and the shortcut is W. So move around this tool by shift W and you will have quick selection and magic wand. So this is my magic wand. So basically magic wand selects pixels based on tone and color, similar tone and color and it selects pixels that share the same color and brightness value. So basically we can select larger areas by just a click and that's why the name Magic Wand. So basically use Magic Wand when you have contrast between the background and the subject. Also the background shares a common tone. It's only then when you use the Magic Wand for a quick selection. I'm going to click here and you can see that I have created a rough selection and now if I want to change it to a darker gray in the background I like the color but just a little darker I can do hair and I can do an all del for getting my foreground color which is hair in the background into the selection so I'm gonna do that the shortcut alt and D and here I have I have darkened my and I can do control D so I have this image with the darkened background as compared to what it was. So this is how the magic wand tool works. You can increase the tolerance from here if you're looking for basically a higher contrast then you can increase the tolerance. You want a stark difference you can increase that. So the super cool tool just a one click away and you can make selections.